Can't be good. Nice. Hey guys, I'm Josh Bingham, I'm sous chef for Necker Island, and we're doing a dish shoot today for the staff canteen. Uh, so basically, what we've got, uh, we've been mahi mahi. Um, it's a local fish uh, from Tortola. We've got a mango and papaya chutney. Uh, we've got couscous, uh, spice couscous there. And then we've also got mango puree. And we'll be doing that with a mango beurre blanc, which we're going to be making now. And we finish that with coriander oil. Jacob, can you run that to the, uh, to the oven, please? Yep. OK. So we'll start on the beurre blanc. So basically in here, I've got a reduction of shallots, white wine, and white wine vinegar. And we we'll reduce that down all the way. There's no liquid left. So there's no liquid left. Um, if there's any vinegar left, any liquid left, you're going to get a harshness there. Uh, okay, so we've got Kringos in. It's going to take a little bit of a while, but it's fine. So, to the stage, so, once, so once the cream comes up, we're going to go um, cold butter into the, into the cream, make an emulsion. Once the uh, emulsion is done, we're going to then pass it off, uh, add some mango puree to it, and that's where our mango beurre blanc is. Um, I'll just quickly, where's those Caribbean chilies gone? They're over there. You got the Caribbean chilies? Of course. So we've also got um, a sofa fan as well. Can you just cut that? So we've got uh, hazelnut and Caribbean chili pesto. The Caribbean chilies we grow uh, on Necker, uh, straight from the cactuses. Uh, we've also got some nice herbs from Necker, it's called Moringa, citrusy notes, it's really nice. It's also called Tree of Life, isn't it? Tree of Life, yeah. Right, so once the cream's up, come in, come in. We're well, going to monte the butter in, right? We don't want to do that. My butter's already soft because it's so hot here, it's 30 degrees on Necker. <laughs> I'm going to need, Jacob, you want to bring the fish? I need a. Uh... A, a bit of water as well. So you can see here the, uh, the cream will then start to thicken up slightly. If it goes too hot, you'll split it. If it's too cold, then the butter starts to set and you'll also split it. So you've got to have the perfect temperature. Jacob, how's that fish? That it. Okay, so talk us how you got through quickly yeah. that stage of the fish, because obviously... Okay, so with the fish, we uh, got that in yesterday from Tortola, and we then prepped it down, portion it, and then we pan fry it um, in some oil, finish it with butter, aromats, lemon zest, and uh, some lemon juice. And we've also got some lime here. So we that. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm nearly done here, I'm nearly done. Fresh is, fresh is best on this sort of thing. Hashtag fresh. <laughs> okay. So for the fish as well, I'm just gonna, this is the hazelnut and Caribbean chili pesto. What's inside there? So you've got hazelnut, ground down, burn noisette, um, Caribbean chilies. Caribbean chilies are quite, um, they're like a dragon fruit. It's not hot like a normal chili. So it's more fruity rather than More heat. fruity, yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna put that on top of the fish. I'm just gonna drain that there. So at this point, Butter's emulsified. Thank God it hasn't split. I'm going to pass that off. Squeeze all that out. So now I'm just going to blend it. You see it's got nice body. It's actually lovely that, isn't it? Nice, nice bodies all around. Bit of luck there, boys. <laughs> right, so now this is the mango puree. And then, I'm just gonna blend that in. Also, a tiny bit of salt. A tiny bit of cayenne pepper. 
Ganaré. Esta es. Nice. Okay. So now we're going to plate up. So, first element, we've got um, mango and papaya chutney. So it's basically mangoes, papaya, all from around the BVI, nice and local. Um, we're going to we cut them down. We've got comfy ginger in there. Um, lime and coriander. So let me just go there. Next element, we've got the couscous, spice couscous. In here we've got pine nuts, pumpkin seeds, uh, parsley. Uh, we finish it with lemon juice, salt and olive oil. Next. Okay, so we've got mango puree next. So this is um, just mangoes, fresh mangoes, blended with lime juice, uh, lime zest, and uh, salt and cayenne pepper. So just a couple of dots, well, a few more. Okay. After that, we've got the fish. So that's been resting and drained off. Yeah, resting, drained off. Hazelnut pesto on. And then, on top of that, we're just going to add a couple of spring onions. Okay. And then, this is the uh, moringa flowers from Necker. Goes really well with the fish. And then, to finish, Mango beurre blanc. Eyes full of colours, chef. Eyes full of colours. And this is coriander rolls. This is just coriander blended with olive oil until it gets above 70 degrees. Then we pass it off uh, through muslin. You get a beautiful green oil. Okay, so there. Let me just work that plate. Attention to detail. So there is the, uh, so we've got mahi mahi, spice couscous, mango papaya chutney, mango beurre blanc, uh, and coriander oil. Um, any top tips for the graduates, I would say, is sharpen your knives like before. Um, practice, practice, practice. Uh, get your head chef to be, you know, taste some new dishes beforehand. Uh, come in on every single day off beforehand and just, um, yeah, just crack on, push yourself. Right, are we done now? Can we go to the beach? Yeah, beach time. Let's go. <laughs> Jacob, let's go.